be double beard there, eh? Sorry to be so close. Just getting into the, well, I've been in the hunting area a while, but first walk, I've just been driving around, speed scouting all day and looking for a place to camp, which I finally found at a campground that I didn't want to do because I didn't want to pay more money, but the wind's blowing so hard, it was at least down in a hole. But anyways, I got hens in front of me in the field. All I can see is six hens, I think. I've had hens calling behind me, which is where I parked the truck. Right when I parked the truck, they started up. So lots of hen activity, but no sign of any gobblers yet. For about a half hour, I think, from sunset. So I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to hear anything in this wind or if I will either, but Make sure to just video my face if I hear a, a gobble. Tried to make some coffee first go. Didn't get near enough water, so. You know, just dealing with early morning brain. Anyway, getting ready to walk in as soon as I chug this coffee and I'll uh, see you guys uh, in the woods. Well, I don't know if you can tell from this first little morning snippet, but, uh, you know, the weather was windy and rainy and nasty, uh, and it was going to continue to be for the duration of my hunt. And so I just buckled down and hunted hard and didn't video, which is fine ordinarily. Um, and it's fine for most people, normal for most people. But, you know, I just am kind of regretful when I have such an awesome hunt um, that turned successful and was so fulfilling and I didn't lay down any footage uh so that's kind of how this one is um i don't have the confidence that it would make a great episode all on its own so i'm not going to make it one i'm just going to show you the highlights and and move on but uh you know like i said an awesome hunt a fulfilling hunt um one filled with nasty weather and uh so this i guess this eastern swing completed this little uh poor man slam kind of deal and so I wanted to stay and hunt more eastern turkeys. Um, I guess I should say that I, uh, the bulk of my spring turkey season is 10 days. I live in, in arid southwestern Wyoming where we have no turkeys. And so I take a week off from work. And with my weekends, that equates to about 10 days. And I go travel around and hunt turkeys. And so I don't want it to seem like I'm hurrying from place to place. But I also have to be realistic in the time I have to, to fit my whole spring into these 10 days and then, you know, maybe another long weekend, but the bulk of it's right now. And so I wanted to stay and hunt Easterns, but uh, the weather just won out. Um, it was going to continue to be rainy and nasty. And so I pointed my truck back towards Rio land um, to a place I'd never been before, never stepped foot, never drove through it. It just had some public land I wanted to check out and the weather was going to be nicer. So that's what I did. I like these kind of turkeys make a track just for me until looks like that toe is way longer than those two which indicates a gobbler We're on a piece of public looks really good and at least some signs of life i talked with a guy named was tim from arkansas Ooh. This morning for about an hour. <laughs> um, he's just kind of telling me what he knows a little bit. He's tagged out. He's, he's just hunting around, enjoying himself, hunting around, looking for his buddy for birds, just scouting around. But anyway, it was a joy to talk to him. He wasn't in a hurry, and neither was I. So. Now I'm not looking for more turkeys. It's 11 o'clock. I heard zero gobbles this morning. I was just going to leave this place. That's where I was headed with that story. I talked with Tim and he said, no, there's birds here that haven't been gobbling in the morning. I said, a 32, 35 degree morning, crystal clear, no gobbles. He said, 
It's the weirdest thing, but they haven't gobbled much in the mornings. It's all afternoons and evenings. Well, you can't hear them in the afternoons, at least not this afternoon, because it's going to be so windy, but I'm out putting the optics to use and burning some of this cheap fuel in this truck. Getting 11.2 miles per gallon on this fill up. Let's see, overall. There's my trip so far. 1,700 miles, 12 miles a gallon average. Yikes. Keeping with the theme of not videoing well, or uh, even in this case, not videoing at all, <laughs> was earlier that morning. Um, all I had planned to do you know, early that morning in the pre-dawn hours was to try and locate gobbling turkeys. And I had, you know, I don't know, five or six pins on the map at different high points. And I'd park the truck and sometimes legitimately sprint to a high point to listen for a little while, send out a locator call and just see what I could hear. And all that listening at prime time resulted in exactly zero gobbles. And so I was just kind of taking a deep breath, uh, unwinding and just taking it all in when I met Tim that I had mentioned earlier. And he was pretty refreshing for me, really, uh, just to hear that there were, in fact, gobblers around. They were just hard to hunt right then for whatever reason. I'm sure the, the season being open for, I don't know, I think about a week at this point had something to do with it. But, uh, you know, it was Tim's hunting party's last day, and I just basically said, you know, good luck. You guys have at it. You've been hunting these birds for multiple days. I'll go do something else, and you guys try and finish it off strong. And, and so I did, and I went and just hit smaller public pieces, and if the the lack of tire tracks and the lack of people tracks told me so and the stuff looked good on the map i'd walk in and just give it a shot and uh what ended up happening was i got into a back and forth with a couple hens and they were just so aggressive that it made me want to dive further into this little piece tried to shoot a coyote. Turned out to be two coyotes. I got to about 10 yards. I just couldn't. They were laying down. I couldn't slide one through there. Then I look up and there's a male turkey. I don't know if, uh, gosh dang it, Tom or Jake, of course, but making a move on him. I called to him and he just kind of looked up and went, yeah, yeah. But I had those hens calling back to me, so I'm sure they're right there too. Boy, this is either going to look really dumb or like I'm an athlete. That's a but they're long beards. Are you on? Holy crap. <sighs> Holy crap. Thank God there was always a straggler. Ah. <sighs>
had zero interest in the call. Just had to, ooh, stinky turkey. Oh my God. Oh, that's it. That's the last tag we can make happen here. Oh, what a place. They're beautiful Rio, man. Oh, I'm gonna take time to soak this all in. Shoot, I was talking to myself in the turkey and um, asking if he was ready to go after taking some pictures and realized I wanted to chat a little bit. Mostly just about how much fun um, I have doing this. Just, I can't say living off the grid, but living like a gypsy, I guess. Just, just staying in a tent finding new places to hunt, going on crazy drives and stepping places that, you know, the only reason to bring you there is to hunt turkeys. And um, I guess that just kind of nostalgia feeling is really what what brings it home for me, the, the total package. Um, but just finding new places to hunt, finding little hidden gems, finding, you know, going out to a cafe and, and uh, Spending some money in a town that has, you know, 75 to 200 people or whatever it is, just not much there. And um, I don't know, just I'm just rambling on about the experience other than the turkey hunt itself or, or killing a turkey. And this one was, you know, he wanted absolutely nothing to do with the call. Neither one of them did. I called to them both and snuck around here for a while trying to get the right angle on them. And there was one hen in here and they just had zero desire. So. I think I found myself a future turkey spot, but um, other than that, it was, I mean, I enjoy doing that. Spot and stocking is what I've done all the time, and a lot of people, I guess, don't like it, but it's fun to me to just kind of match wits and sneak my way through places and accomplish my goal. So with that, I hope that I got enough footage to uh, make anything of this. Hope it was enjoyable to watch it, and uh, I don't know. I guess that's it. See you on the next one. Appreciate you. We're going to head out of here and start walking.